Despite causing several human deaths, they are also associated with life and healing. This is why the Greek god of medicine carried a staff with a snake, which has now become considered a symbol of modern medicine. After all, anti-venom is sometimes made out of actual snake venom. Anti-venom is usually made by injecting small amounts of snake venom into an animal, like a sheep or a horse, which then produces antibodies. Unfortunately, producing these anti-venoms is very costly, and the anti-venoms have a short shelf life. And this is especially an issue when you're dealing with rural areas in the developing world with limited ability to refrigerate these anti-venoms. Some pharma companies, as a result, have been researching developing antivenoms from microorganisms in labs for drug treatments. To this day, the rod of the snake, the symbol of medicine if you could call it that, is still associated with doctors. However, some have argued that the snake isn't actually a snake, but rather a guinea worm, which unlike a snake, is actually evil, if you could call an animal evil. This is a worm that lays eggs in your skin, and then the babies grow out and rip out of your skin. A stick is then used to poke a small hole and pull out the worm, which is sometimes attributed to the staff. Today, guinea worms are only found in sub-Saharan Africa in the most rural areas, and are sometimes referred to as the fiery serpent. But nonetheless, the snake icon stuck, and today, the World Health Organization still uses the snake as their emblem, which I personally think is way cooler than a gross little worm.